Hi guys, welcome to another episode and today we're reviewing the all new BMW Wix. Okay, so now we're going to cover the transfer. Um, first impressions, I've got to be honest, it looks kind of doable. The door still does look a little big, but it's got leather seats, which come as standard, which I'll cover in a bit, but we'll try and get in anyway. Okay, so we're in, and I've got to be honest, first impressions, very nice, very nice, and I wasn't that bad actually. So as you can see, the boot of the uh, new One Series is actually quite um, quite big uh, for the size it is. Um, one great thing about this, as you see in the separate clip, is the um, underneath the false foyer, there's a little segment there to actually fit the um, partial shelf in. Um, that's perfect for, for Marcus because he needs to actually uh, take the partial shelf off to fit his wheelchair in even when it's folded. Uh, but other than that, when the chair is at in here, there's still quite a bit of room left to the sides and there's a compartment there for any storage. And underneath the partial shelf in the, in the false floor, there's still a little bit of uh, storage left as well. So uh, all in all, I think that's pretty good. of the new one series and i've got to be honest i'm very impressed the first thing i do want to cover is the transfer in because as you'll see i got halfway across i did struggle a little bit but once i was near enough in it was great because i got the leather seats which are as standard on this model which is the m sport now the next thing i want to look at in this car is the infotainment system because out of everything in this car it's the one thing that's really impressed me and that's because one, the size of the screen for the start. Second of all, this comes with the BMW connected drive, which you can use as an app store. Um, or, which one thing I really like, because I like gadgets, is you can actually open and lock the car all on your phone. You can also check things like um, how many miles you've got left in it in terms of the fuel range. Um, you can do a lot of things. You can ventilate the car before you get in it, so you can sit in the house and you can ventilate it whilst the car still remains locked, all from an app on the top of your phone. Um, now this car, like I said, it does come with the connected drive. And what that allows you to do is to download um, the Apple CarPlay, which you, you subscribe to. You can either have it on a monthly or yearly basis. Now, if you don't use Apple CarPlay, then I wouldn't worry about it. But if you like Apple CarPlay and you want the BMW 1 Series, I definitely recommend getting this particular model. Um, just because it comes with a lot more, such as heated leather seats. Now, it's very rare that you get leather seats as standard, let alone heated ones. Um, so there's that point. Um, everything about this car is really, really impressive. I also like this nice little area down here, which is where the gear selector is. Um, which is a new gear selector stick, which is very small, very neat. I like that. Um, then you've also got the, the nozzle here, um, which controls the BMW iDrive. So you can either draw on it, or you can use it like that, or you can move it back to side, back and forth. Um, you've also got then, if you prefer a button, um, you've got your home, your media, um, your nav, um, your Bluetooth button, or if you want to be really simple, you can use it as a touch screen. So yeah, as I said, this is a really impressive car. Very impressive.
the first one we look at is accessibility. We're going to score that a four. Now, even though I did struggle to get in, once I was halfway across, it was easily doable because I got the leather seats, which any transfers always made easier simply by having leather seats. So for me, that's great. Um, now, practicality, we're going to score that a three simply because, again, like any other car, you do have to take the parcel shelf out, but it does still fit the chair in. So, and you still also have uh, room either side of the chair, and I think it's great. The one thing I do like about the practicality of this car is the fact that you can keep the parcel shelf in the car, so it doesn't have to go in a cupboard in the house, and it doesn't get lost. You can go under the false floor, hidden away, and then it's always there without it being lost. Um, if you ever should need to sell the car, return the car, whatever way you want to look at it. Uh, comfort, I'm going to score it a four. Again, the seats are massively massively improved compared to the previous one series um again probably because they're heated leather seats which always adds to all sorts of comfort i think it's brilliant and they also hold you in place um so i like that part about it and then performance this is the 1.5 petrol engine in the m sport model um we're gonna score that a four now when i say 1.5 you might think oh it's not going to be that, that quick, it's not going to be that good on fuel, but actually it's more than more than good enough for this car. Now, as I said, it doesn't have to be a racing car, however, it is actually that. Now, it wouldn't you wouldn't think it, but you be, will be pleasantly surprised. So, all of that said, I would highly recommend the new one series, without a doubt, because you get so much more on the new one series compared to again the older model so that's it now for this review if you like the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe and we look forward to seeing you again soon thanks very much bye now